Reddit. What absurd weapon of choice would you want during a home invasion? A stick welder with some strips of sheet metal. Imagine breaking into a house in pitch darkness and then the homeowner strikes an arc right in front of you. Now blinded, the invader would be an easy target for getting their limbs strapped and tack welded together. That was about as brutal as I thought it would be. Own a musket for home defense, since that's what the founding fathers intended. Four ruffians break into my house. What the devil. As I grab my powdered wig and Kentucky rifle. Blow a golf ball sized hole through the first man. He's dead on the spot. Draw my pistol on the second man. Miss him entirely because it's smooth bore and nails the neighbor's dog. I have to resort to the cannon mounted at the top of the stairs loaded with grape shot. Tally hole lads. The grape shot shreds two men in the blast. The sound and extra shrapnel set off car alarms. Fix bayonet and charge the last terrified rapscallion. He bleeds out waiting on the police to arrive since triangular bayonet wounds are impossible to stitch up. Just as the founding fathers intended. A lance. Charge the door screaming have at thee for maximum success. Or keep a horse next to your bed and charge at them on horseback. Bonus points if you sleep in full plate armor, so you're ready when the time comes. George Foreman grills located strategically on the floor throughout my house. Also effective if you like to wake up to the smell of bacon in the morning, just be careful not to step on the grill when you get up. I have an 8 gauge I inherited, this is an absurd gun, with almost no practical purpose, that I'd highly recommend against for anyone smaller than me. I take it out a couple of times a year for comedy value, and to make sure I can still shoot it without crippling myself. I can only imagine what firing it in an enclosed space would be like. It would cease to be an enclosed space. Axe. The body spray. And a lighter? If the smell hasn't killed their senses already, sure. A musket that fires even smaller muskets. Do those fire or, did you just hit your intruder with a small musket that he can now shoot you with, unless that shoots an even smaller musket, and now you two are in a weird game of Russian doll musket catch. This is a very personal question. I want a specially trained and heavily armed attack walrus. How heavily armed? Yes. Low orbit iron cannon. It's a win-win. I kill myself, my invader and 3 million of my closest neighbors. The power of friendship. But what if you're a shirty friend? Except the robbery is karma. I'd need a black full body morph suit and a white marker. Imagine that you're breaking into a house. You assess your surroundings. A. Just a kitchen. Nothing valuable here. So you make your way into the hall, wondering where the bedroom is. You are peer through the first door, to your right. Nope. Just the bathroom. The toilet's off to the side, and the sink, as well as the mirror, is at the end of the small powder room. Looking into the mirror, you gasp, then chuckle quietly to yourself, when you realize that the dark figure in the dark room is just your own reflection. You creep out of the room, and gasp again. There's a white smiley face at the end of the hall. Was it there before? You're pretty sure it wasn't. Nervously, you slowly pace towards the end of the hall. The white of the smile is completely contrasted by the murky shadows all around it. You feel immensely creeped out, and glance behind you, just out of instinct. The second your eyes trail behind your back, you hear rapid footsteps. Your eyes snap forward, and you are greeted with the horrifying sight of the ghastly smiling face flying towards you, accompanied by a cacophony of footsteps and hysterical giggling. Terrified for your life, you scream like a rather manly girl and sprint back to the kitchen window, eating yourself out onto the back lawn. Panting harder than a dog, you peer back to find the smile man crawling out of the window. It stands there, and you stare at it, curious in spite of all that happened to you. As you watch, it reaches a hand up, grabs the head part of the suit, and rips it away. It's a sliced up clown face. It's a bleeding snake head. Red rivulets streaming from the eyes. It's your mom. It's another black mask with a smiley face drawn on it. You scream again, this time in a higher pitch, and leap over the fence, resolving through the sweat and tears, that you will never burgle a house again. 
a dog who doesn't get excited when she sees any random stranger. They have surveyed criminals who do home robberies, and they say the single biggest thing that turns them away from a home is a dog. Any dog. If they see or hear a dog they will go somewhere else because they are potentially more trouble than they're worth. Didn't work with my two dogs, they fed them our own damn ham out of our fridge, and the two duckers were just as happy as could be. I'm pretty sure they'd rate our home burglary as 10 out of 10. I'm now envisioning burglar Yelp. Great dogs, would rob here again. I'd want my parents there. My father could cut down my invaders verbally, by assuring them that they were utter disappointments in the field of home invasion, and then my mother could enable my father's bad behavior, and tell them how they are bringing it on themselves. Might not stop the home invasion, but at least one of them will probably develop an eating disorder years down the road. Trebuchet. The Connoisseur's Choice. If you ever want to lay siege on your neighbors. A piccolo. I too would like to have a Dragon Ball Z character on standby as a home defense mechanism. Gunsharks. No lie, I've wanted to make a DND character centered around those for a long time. Microwaved hot pockets to throw. Will you be scalded or frozen? Who knows? The old frost firebolt. Paper and a pen so I can write the invaders a passive-aggressive note. I hear, it is mightier than the sword. A goose. If the invader has already dealt with geese, he'll probably turn away immediately. Or, be amazed and impressed by my ability to hold a fully grown goose in my bare hands. It's basically the same as holding a live grenade, only more potent. If not, I release the goose and we'll make the news. My dad got me Gandalf the Grey's Glamdring Sword when I was 11 years old. Six years later, our house alarm went off, and all I remember is my parents laughing their masses off when I just started charging down the stairs, two-handing an unsharpened replica sword like I was going to lead the assault. Would have made a nice news story, if not for the fact that no one was actually invading us. I got this one. I've had this planned for a while. I generally sleep relatively naked. Usually boxers. If someone were to come in while I was in bed it'd be a quick second to strip myself down to what God gave me. Then I would grab a large dildo. Not some saints row stuff. That's too cartoony. No this is a usable one. And then I would run to where it was happening in my birthday suit while screaming all the German that two semesters of college taught me while swinging a large dildo around. Plot armor. Nice choice. I've seen children take down trained military compounds with nothing more than plot armor. I've seen one guy, stuck in the wrong place at the wrong time. Foil teams of mercenaries with nothing more than plot armor. I've seen plucky losers stop alien invasions with only plot armor. Nothing beats plot armor. Nothing. <laughs>